Friday. It actually looks like the mall has been open. You know, it looks like it's daytime if you were to come here on a normal day. Some of the stores are still closed, but most of them are open. Starbucks actually opened at 11 o'clock last night. We're going to hear from the store manager coming up next. Hours ago. Mm -hmm. So let's send things out to uh, the mall. Some people have been waiting in line since last night's Best Buy, we heard, since 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Wow. Lindsay Boach is at the mall this morning. What is it like at the QM? Yeah, you know what? Up. There's a lot of people walking around here. Uh, surprisingly enough, it looks like any other day um, that you would come to the mall. People are in a good mood, it looks like. Yes, I know. But, you know, people are in a great mood. Everybody's smiling. They have bags in their hands. Um, it looks like it was pretty busy. Like I said, we did talk to um, Ellen over at Starbucks. She is the manager over there. And she said that they opened up at 11, but they served so many people this morning. Form in a line around 10.30, and we actually just got through about 120 customers in an hour. So it was extremely busy. The line was back to McDonald's, and the front sidewalk was plum full. And now when I talked to her um, earlier this morning, she said that usually their first hour of business, they only serve about 10 people, which is from 5 to 6. So 120 people compared to 10, so they're having a great day. And it looks like people at the Quincy Mall are having a great day as well. And right now I'm joined by Lisa Nyson, who is the manager at Bath & Body Works. And how was it for you guys this morning? Phenomenal. I walked in at 11.15 this morning, and we actually had a line of people waiting for the, us to open the gate. So it, it exceeded our expectations. And what do you guys, how do you prepare for all of this madness? Uh, for the last week, we have just packed tables, under stocks, just getting everything ready, letting customers know about the promotions that are coming up. And we did not leave here Wednesday night until we knew every shelf and drawer was filled and every table. So, <laughs> so you had a lot to do. And you guys just recently opened or reopened. You had a little construction. So did that hinder anything? No, not really. I just brought more people into the store because they wanted to see the new look of the store. They were exci excited that we were finally back open because they've waited um, but no, we just, it's been a phenomenal turnout and we will definitely be out here midnight again next year. Great. Sounds good. So if you missed it this uh, Black Friday, you can head on out there. Next Black Friday, I know we're thinking a little bit too far in advance. And I actually saw down that way, um, Santa's house is up too. So Santa will be coming uh, hopefully soon to the Quincy Mall. Uh, this afternoon, Tegan just told me, so she thinks. So <laughs> if you're looking for Santa, he's out here at um, the Quincy Mall, hopefully soon as well. So great day to get in the holiday spirit. There's Christmas music, snowflakes, everything going on here today. It is. Yeah, technically, or normally Santa can make a big parade route down the mall, and then he sits at his post for the next 30 days. Yeah. So that's kind of what he does. You might talk me into it. Melissa Shriver is out and about, and this is, boy, I don't even know how many Black Fridays Melissa has been out and about <laughs> for us here at KHQA. She is out at Kohl's at Prairie Trail Shopping Center. What kind of deals do you find out there, Melissa? I'm live here at Coles and Quincy, where, as you can see, business is still bustling at this hour. But things have changed this year. Normally, you'd see a line around the store. We'll tell you why it's a little different this year coming up. Hey, here, hey guys, I'm live here at Kohl's where, as you can see, cash registers still busy, people still shopping, bagging up their Christmas loot from Black Friday. But I'll tell you, things were a little different earlier this morning. If you could roll that video from earlier this morning, when Kohl's doors opened at midnight, hundreds of people flooded through those gates, walking in, well, some running, some walking, to get the best deals that they could get here at Kohl's. We were told around 700 or more people coming in initially at midnight. Just take a look at that video. It's just astounding how many people were running through those doors. Anyway, we're here at Kohl's now. Obviously, hours since midnight. Store still busy, still very steady, but not what it was earlier this morning. I'm joined now by John Dobbins. He's the manager here at Kohl's. When those initial floodgates opened, what was it like? It was just incredible. There's a lot of excited people. We were glad they were here. Uh, they came for all the early bird specials. We got 500 of those, so uh, it was just a, a great sale for everybody. Well, I was told you said that the lines were wrapping around the store. What was that like to have all these cash registers open for that? Well, you know, that's a very important day for us, and of course, that's the way we always planned for it, and it was quick, uh, and it was just a fun experience for everybody. So now you said we have a little bit of downtime. What do you expect for the rest of the day? Oh, I, I would expect it's going to get uh, busier in a couple hours, and it's going to stay busy throughout the day for us then. How important is Black Friday sales for you? You said that today seems like it's a good day so far, but how important is it here at Kohl's? Well, th this, of course, really kicks off the season for, for many retailers, and um, this, this is a very important day for us also. 
Very good. Well, again, that's John Dobbins, the manager here at Coles in Quincy. And we're seeing people running through these. Uh, hey, there's Bo Hicks. You doing a little bit of shopping? I was here last night when he opened the doors at midnight. Yeah. <laughs> well, and from your perspective, we saw the video that was coming into the store. You were outside the store watching people flood into the store. What was it like for you to be out in the crowd? I, you know what, everyone was excited, especially the crowd out here were in good moods. A lot of people just said, hey, you know, we're just out there for the thrill of it. Uh -huh. So, and apparently, so it was my wife and I, because there was something <laughs> here she really wanted. So we're back. Oh, yeah, he's back. I'm sure a lot of people are going to see this and say, hey, the stores aren't too, too uh, overly crowded this morning. It's time to get out there. Yeah, you know, I think the overnight thing really helped spread it out, and hopefully it helped uh, jumpstart the economy again. Well, I think so, and especially uh, since we've heard they've had a good day here at Kohl's, that seems to be what everybody's hearing kicking off the Christmas shopping season. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Ruthie is joining me now, and uh, you know what? Shoppers, uh, it's hard to believe they're, they're kind of wrapping up their shopping. I hadn't even begun today. I haven't either, and you know what? I remember last year, wind chills were a big factor in Black Friday shopping. Wind chills were around 10 degrees last year, so uh, shoppers got a, a, a nice change this year, and uh, they are still uh, wrapping up their shopping here. We're going to talk to one of those shoppers coming up, but also, do you know the meaning of Black Friday and where it came from? We're going to share that coming up next. Biggest shopping day of the year, of course. Actually, it's not. No, I was gonna say, isn't it's the, one of. Yeah. Because I've made that mistake before. Isn't like the day after. I'm almost Christmas? positive really? that Christmas mm -hmm. Eve is the busiest shopping day of the it's year. It's the busiest shopping day for me because that's when I do all my shopping. Yeah, but do you know why it's called Black Friday? I'm gonna take a stab at the dark and say because it's dark outside. Okay, I would think they call what it Dark Friday. No, they call it black because it's like pitch black. Sure. Okay. Right? Yeah, Pitch Black Friday. I would Ooh, call it. should change it to Pitch Black Friday. I would call it Green oh. Friday. That's why I wore my tag or my tie today because it's, you know, a lot of green coming oh, in and out. Oh, and saving a lot of green, hopefully. Lindsay knows the answer, though. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Chad, you're a, a lot closer than Hannah is oh, in, that, what? Uh, in that aspect. Check your sources. The origins actually go back to the 19th century, um, the financial crisis of 1869 in the United States. But back in the 1960s was the first time they used it actually in the media in Philadelphia. Um, it had a very negative connotation with the traffic jams, the mobbing um, of the stores, the sidewalks were always crowded. Um, but by the early 1980s, it took on kind of an alternative meaning. Um, you know, from January to November, stores kind of were in the red so they were hoping that the day after Thanksgiving would bring them into the black which would uh, go from their losses to profits blacks uh, black in the uh, financial sense means profit so that's where they get the term Black Friday from so Man. very interesting and a lot of you um, we asked you on Facebook you know if you guys were out there shopping and I have some some comments for you um, Angela says that she was at she's at Menards right now the line was getting very long this was about an hour ago and it's oh so cold it's going to be a madhouse and that is her last stop and also um, Linda says that she knows one person that spent two hundred dollars on something that would have been seven hundred dollars so those are some really good bargains somebody else who had um, some bargains is Kayla Weatherby and she's been out here since what time one o'clock one o'clock um, and what did you get um, I got a skillet and I got a crock pot and how were the bargains uh, very good and are you glad that you woke up or did you even go to bed no didn't even go to bed so your your next stop is to sleep no no <laughs> you're gonna go shopping some more yes See, it's funny because this is uh, what we're used to on the morning show. We get up really early. So all you Black Friday shoppers who are already home, welcome to our mornings. This is what we do. And welcome to your morning as well. I hope you guys got some great deals out there. And um, we've got plenty more here from the Quincy Mall where um, most of the stores that weren't open at midnight have been um, just starting to open. Case Jewelers just opened up at 6 o'clock. And some of the kiosks are opening up as well. So. If you're thinking about braving the crowds today for some Black Friday shopping, good news for you. Most of the clouds have dispersed. If you can tell, I'm here live at Kohl's in Quincy, where there are still a lot of people shopping this morning, but not the terrible crowds that you would normally expect. I'll tell you why coming up. Hi there, guys. I'm live here at Kohl's in Quincy, where, as you can see, we still are seeing some very busy cash registers behind us. But although we're seeing busy cash registers, we're not seeing the large lines here at this time of morning that you would normally see. I just ran into these ladies that are coming into Kohl's to start their shop shopping day, I guess, for the second time? Yes, yes second time <laughs> today. We started out about 1 o'clock and went home, come back at 5. 
So what did you see? I know that the big thing this year that's different is the fact that everybody opened a little earlier this year. A lot of people were open at 10 o'clock last night. Some were open at midnight. What did you see and experience when you got up that early? Or stayed not, up? not much crowds as far as the hustle and bustle of everybody get, getting there on time at the same time. Mm -hmm. So a little bit lax in, in people coming in. Was it pretty exciting? Oh yeah, yeah. I always like doing this. This is <laughs> this is my thing after Thanksgiving. <laughs> so it's like a tradition. Do you guys all do it at the same time? Yes, yes, we do. Yeah. So you took a break. They took a sleep break, I guess, uh, a little nap, and then braved the crowds again this morning. What's it been like so far this morning, uh, getting out and about? A lot of fun. This is a tradition with the three of us, so we have a blast. We always go coffee, have breakfast, <laughs> shop like crazy. Sounds like a girl's day then. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Well, one thing I, I have to know, the big items. What are you guys looking for today? I'm looking for a lot of appliances. They have really good deals here at Christmas time. And we talked about this before. The time changed. Everybody was shooting way earlier for their opening times. Do you like that better? You're hardcore Black Friday shoppers. Do you like that better now than in past years? Or? No. 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 Or five o'clock in the morning a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Why earlier in the morning? We can sleep a little bit before we start out. <laughs> Instead of just getting a couple hours of sleep, we can. And a lot of the items weren't available. They gave out tickets for things earlier than they should have on items and it's just much better to do it at one shot. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of people saying that and a lot of people have told me that they don't really like the, they feel like the energy level is, is gone. Do you think the energy level yes, on Black Friday is gone? Definitely, yeah. This, I, this is the time of day to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as far as hot items, you said electronics and uh, home, appliances. home appliances. Anything else that you guys clothing. caught your idea? Some clothing. Okay. Towels. Yeah. I'm here for some towels. <laughs> they have a nice buy on towels. I always go here for the towels as well. Yeah. Well, we are telling you all the Black Friday secrets here live at Coles in Quincy. And I'll tell you what, if this is any indication of what you can expect today, don't be fearful to go out and brave the Black Friday crowds. Back to you guys in the studio. Not much hustle and bustle here at the mall. Shoppers, they had a plan. They kind of know what they want, and they're kind of getting into the mall, Lindsay. And they kind of know what they want. They just go to store to store and know exactly what they're looking for. A lot of people have a lot of bags. Um, I've seen a lot of Bergner's bags. Bergner's opened at midnight, um, so a lot of people were there, have already been there throughout the day. Um, somebody's walking by with a Sears bag right now. Um, John Whitler on Twitter is at Walmart right now. He's waiting for them to open up to get some tires for his van, and they open at 8 o'clock this morning, um, the, the auto part of it. So we're going to talk some more Black Friday coming up next. Coach and Tegan Orpit are there. We're going to check in with Lindsay now. Um, and I have the most important question of the day for you, Lindsay. Just as we went to break, we saw your and Tegan's hair blowing. Yeah. Is that for an what effect? Going on? You're inside the mall. Why Did is your hair moving? Did you bring a fan with you? We have the door open so that we could get the cord in, and we're standing right in front of the door. We oh, bring okay. a fan or a wind machine with us to make <laughs> we us look so beautiful. It, we were just like, why is your hair blowing? You're, you're in the mall. It's like, they must have brought yeah, a fan for open. dramatic effects. That's what I thought it was for, just a No, the door is open. It's kind of chilly. <laughs> yes, we are at the Quincy Mall this morning. Um, right now, I'm joined by Kathy Martin. She's with the Quincy Police Department, and you've been here since 5. How are things, uh, how have they been going this morning? Wonderful. No. Cooperation with everybody, no issues. It's been a good time. It's no issues with anybody. Great to hear. Um, unfortunately, there were some issues in other places this morning. Um, I heard Old Navy had a little snafu out there. Walmart, some people are fighting over probably some TVs and things like that. Um, Shopco, though, this video that you're going to see is taken at midnight. Um, the line of shoppers was outside the store, it wrapped around. Uh, the line went all the way from the front of the store to the back of the parking lot. There you see right there, it's absolutely um, amazing. Best Buy also had some huge lines out there. Um, we have some video that was taken at 5 this morning. People were lining up to get those great Black Friday deals. Starbucks, they took a different approach and they opened at 11 o'clock last night. We got our caffeine kick this morning though um, and they usually have um, about 10 people come by within their first hour which is from 5 in the morning to 6 in the morning but last night was kind of a different story. They started forming a line around 10.30 and we actually just got through about 120 customers in an hour. So it was extremely busy. The line was back to McDonald's and the front sidewalk was plumb full. 
and I have a feeling that they will be seeing a lot more people throughout the day. Um, when Tegan and I went to get our little caffeine kick, uh, we talked to Ellen again, and she said that uh, every hour or so they get a little rush of people coming in. So uh, people are just starting to wrap up their shopping now, so they'll probably be heading out there. I'm sure a lot of uh, breakfast places will be very busy this morning. McDonald's, the line was very long for the drive through as well. So people are still trying to get some of their Black Friday shopping done. Um, some other people, like myself, will be procrastinating and waiting till probably the week before Christmas, which is what I normally do. Take it there is Melissa Shriver. She is out at Kohl's this morning. Hey, Melissa. I'm live here in Kohl's on this Black Friday. I'm live here at Kohl's on this Black Friday morning, and as you can see, things are pretty uh, steady. But we're seeing some people running through the cash registers right now with some items. He, this guy's got a griddle that he's going to take home for somebody's Christmas present. I hope we're not spoiling that surprise. But we're here live at Kohl's, and, and as you can see, things are a little bit steady, but a little bit slow as we head into your Black Friday morning. That's because things changed this morning. We've had uh, people talking about the early openings of stores all over the tri-states, and that's made for early morning crowds for Black Friday a little bit sparse because everybody's pretty much done right now. We are hitting a later morning crowd on Black Friday. We want to take you to what was the scene all over the tri-states earlier this morning. Check out this video from Best Buy. We had people lining up all the way around the building, all over the parking lot, hundreds of people waiting to get some electronics for a good deal. Some people even camping out since yesterday afternoon. All sorts of fun there, I'm sure, in the cold. And then here's some video you'll see in just a second from Kohl's this morning as the floodgates opened at midnight and hundreds, we're told around 750 people running through the doors at midnight to get their good Black Friday deals here at Kohl's. But, of course, things are getting a little bit lighter while we're waiting for the later morning Black Friday shoppers to arrive at Kohl's this morning. I'm joined now by Katie and Shelby from Edina. Now, they are those Black Friday shoppers that waited a little while to let everybody kind of disperse. Is that kind of what you normally do? Yeah, we normally wait and leave about 4 or 5 in the morning and yeah. get here. We try to stay out of the crowd as much as we possibly can. So what have you seen? And uh, normally, uh, a store like this would open at 3 or 4 in the morning, mm -hmm. and you would arrive, uh, you know, a little bit later. Do you like the fact that it opened a little bit earlier? Do you think that it, how has it helped you? Uh, it's made it a lot easier. Last year, like I said, we waited in line for over an hour, so at the same time of day. So it's great because we got right in and right out. So. And you found everything you said you were looking for, right? Right. Yes, yeah, sweater for Grandpa. and. And I found a laptop for my niece, so she'll be excited. A little laptop? Yeah, a little. Like game laptop. They're really, really cheap, so it's great deals. So what would you suggest? Do you think that people should try a Black Friday if, if they're out and about this morning? Um, I think so. I mean, it's a lot better than years before, so. Huh. We've got all sorts of opinions. Some people like the early morning opening. Some people don't. But you never know until you try it. It might be a good fri good Black Friday to try your hand at some early Christmas more Christmas shopping. Right. Back right. to you guys in the studio. You're talking me into this. I, you, 